All right, here we are for the day two activity. This is a review of activities and work and concepts that we've been doing for many weeks now. This activity has to do with using a shopping list at the grocery store. So you're gonna watch as a shopper, see if you can figure out who it is, follows a shopping list, adds up the total amount spent, and then makes decisions about wants and needs. So we've been doing this one more recently. This is one particular kind of expense, groceries. Groceries don't cost the same every time you go to the store. One time you might have four things on your list. The next time you might have nine things on your list. They're not going to cost the same. If you need to buy laundry detergent, that might cost $10, whereas two bananas is gonna cost less than $1. So it really depends on what you're buying. Look, here's a video of me going to the grocery store with a budget. So watch this video as I make decisions about my grocery list and also about wants and needs. Okay, whoops. Now, oh boy, I'm having trouble here. Now that you watched the video, then you're gonna do what I did. You're gonna take my grocery list here and you're going to choose the items off the store shelves just like I did and put them in your cart. Then you have to make a decision. You have to figure out whether you have enough money or not and what do you do if you don't have enough money. Okay, on this page, just like we did before, you're going to label each of the items in my cart as a want or a need. So if it's a need, you're gonna put a green circle with an N. If it's a want, you're gonna put a W in the red circle. Okay, so you're just gonna drag the bubble from, I mean the N or the W, from here into the circle underneath the items. And that is the end of your day two activity.